where first and foremost I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles, our elders, the great millstone. Um, peace and salutations and blessings to you brothers out there teaching his word and truth and in sincerity. I'm going to do a quick video on a, an article I stumbled over. You know, just nothing new here. Outrage over footage of police officer beating a black man in North North Carolina, right? And I'll put the link in description. And it, it's an eight minute long video. Pretty much, you know, documenting how much of the devil this guy is, you know? Here's Esau, you know, trying to give a life lesson to a, another man. All right, who, who doesn't need doesn't need more oppression, you know. I'm gonna read the article. So it shows them, you know, they're beating them up. I'll keep playing it, then I'll read the article. Actually, skip through. Here's Esau just being an asshole, talking shit. T they tase Jake. They beat him. All for what, man? Edomites around him. And Esau at the end has some nerves to say, What's wrong with you? You know? Why are you doing that? Because you're the devil, man. You know, you have no business to be going around beating people up, man, just because you have a badge and a gun. You wouldn't do that to an Edomite, man, that's for sure. Alright, so this is a. Uh, that Esau says, right, you didn't use the crosswalk four times in a row. And Jake says, all I'm trying to do is go home, man. I'm tired. Right? I just got off work. So Jake, right, there's Esau, right? I've got two options. I can either arrest you or write you a ticket, man. That's just pure wickedness, man. That's oppression, man. And what does Jake say? It doesn't matter, man. Do what you got to do. Besides, keep harassing me, man. So he's like, man, it doesn't matter. And I would do the same exact response. Hey, do what, do what you want to do, man. It don't really matter to me. Just leave me alone. You know? So they end up rushing him. And uh, a city councilwoman recognized the guy, right? Saying, and here it is. She described him as a hardworking man who was eager to learn and who had expressed an interest in construction and carpentry. He was looking for opportunities to gain more skills so he could qualify for higher paying jobs, right? Because it says, on the day Mr. Rush was approached by the officers, he was walking home after the end of a dishwashing shift at the Cracker Bell. Dishwashing shift, that's the lowest level job you can get, man. That's a Mexican job. At the Cracker Barrel, all right? And the Cracker Barrel is hell. <laughs> that is a real, that's the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> cracker Barrel, that's what I call it according to the arrest report, right? So I just wanted to say, read that part, because it just shows you that the so-called white man is the devil here, man. Here it is, Jake, you know, Jake just getting oppressed, man. You know, he's getting oppressed as a dishwashing shift, working for the Cracker Barrel, all right? You can't get good jobs. He's trying to get a better job. He's heading home, probably to catch more hell. And then who's, who comes along? The so-called white man. So I'm going to go in some articles on this devil, right? It's in Psalms 15 and 16. But unto the wicked, the most I save, what hast thou to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, right? Because you devils, right, starting with the so-called Jew, you try to say you believe in the most high, and you try to, but you don't, you don't declare any of the statutes, all right? You don't, you don't follow any of them, man. Right? You go against them blatantly. Like these cops, seeing thou hate, hateth instruction, hateth instruction, and castest my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Yeah, that's how you so-called white people, where you see a thief, you're like, oh man, let me get in on it. Let me get a piece. All right, adulterer, oh man, I want, I want to be an adulterer too. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. And frameth deceit, that's exactly... What these fucking cops are doing, man. 
Because, uh, where is it? It says, um, uh, an officer in training, right? Got him. It shows you what, what they what they charged him with. Yeah, police records show that he was charged with second degree trespass. Right? Impeding traffic, assault on a government official, and resisting a public officer. That's hey man, you're through. You if those charges go through, you're through, man. So the so-called white man is straight framing deceit, like he's like the the the, 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 the they're totally justified in, in, in oppressing this this dude man, the so-called black man, Jake, uh, Israelite. And like I said, you wouldn't do that. You, I'm, I'm speaking of you so-called white people, you Elamites. You wouldn't do that to any other nation, all right? You wouldn't do it to an Elamite walking around a gook. Elamite, you wouldn't do that. And definitely, you do it to a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, as you do. All right? And, 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 uh, you devils, right? Of course, it says the charges were dismissed. Okay, after Todd Williams, the district attorney, reviewed the body cam video. <laughs> so they would have went through it if, this guy, if there wasn't a body cam video. So this body cam video... It's really jacking up you, you Edomites, man, you cops, you dirty pieces of shit. You're getting exposed, man, for being devils, right? And, yeah, I'm just going to go on a few scriptures on the so-called white man, because all he does is lie, man. That's his, that's his M.O. You can't trust the so-called white man, all right? And you give him a position of power, you give him a slave catcher. Because he's cops, right? They're just slave catchers, man. All right? And he's over here just put pure hell on this... On those jeep, look, slave catching. Here it is. He just got, so called got off of slavery. You know, he looks totally fine. He's just fed up. You know, he's like, you know what, man, I'm just gonna dip. <laughs> but sometimes the spirit gets you like that. You know what? Just leave me alone. Like the spirit, you just get so mad. The spirit on you, you know, your fear for your life. You already know what the cops want to do. They want to kill you. But that's not a, that's not a wise move, you know. Because at the end of the day, you're a slave, man. This devil is over you, okay. This is a. Let me get a. Psalms ten and seven. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity, all right? Yeah, he is. He, he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. That's you so-called white people, man. All right? You over there lurking in, in, in the villages. That's where Jake be living. All right? Trying to murder the innocent. The Israelites. And your eyes are privily set against the poor. Yeah, that's who you you go after. You don't go after these elites, these other Edomites, dudes with money, a dude in a Mercedes Benz, with a with a with a, with a, with a monkey suit on, suit and a tie, booted, suited and booted. You don't you don't go after those guys. You're going after Jake, man. He just got off his dishwashing job in a uh, Cracker Bro, man. And like the brothers always bring up. It's only so much longer Jake is going to put up with this shit, man. And, and uh, you see what's happening in South Africa. The spirit of those people in South Africa, that's going to happen here in America. And it's going to be way more lit. All right? Those dudes, you know, them South Africans, you know, they're getting, they're getting it popping. But just watch when Jake get down, man. All right? It's going to be the spirit of Yahabashim Yahushai, Bashim or Kakadash. Right? It's going to be on our people. All right? To, to, to fulfill his will. Whether it be uh, to be in the race wars or to, or to, or to return to the Lord spiritually, all right? He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. Yeah, that's exactly what just happened, man. Right? They put him in. They put this dude in a net. All right? They've been looking, watching him, uh, so-called jaywalk a few streets. You know, just walking home. 
you know, um, boom. You start running, we got you, man. They, that's, that's all they, you know, they're like pit bulls. They want you to move, man, you know? Yeah, you know, if, you, if you're like in the red, you, you see a mountain lion, right? You see a mountain lion. As soon as you, you move, right, it's going to jump at your ass or it's going to jump away. So, But these dudes, you know, they got the numbers, they got the power. So, of course, they're like pit bulls. They're ready to attack. All right. All right. He crouches and humble himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. All right. He has said in his heart, the most I have forgotten. He hideth his face. He will never see it. Yeah, you don't think the most I sees all this. But now that with this technology, right? Of course, the most high sees it, but the most high is using this technology, the so-called white man's technology, to, to tell on himself, all right? He put in the spirit of Esau that set up these body cameras, and now it's just exposing you damn devils, man. And everyone's seen it. Okay, uh, I'm going to go on a few more scriptures. All right, because this, this is what our people, man, we're going through right now. This is Psalms 55 and 1. Give ear to my prayer, O Most High, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend unto me and hear me, and mourn in my complaint and make a noise. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. All right, because this is exactly the position we're in, man. Okay? The voice of the enemy, that's all we hear, right? We, the voice of, 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 all right, of Yahweh Shemel Shai, that's what you hear. On the highways and byways and on videos but apart from that everything is a voice of the enemy man you listen to your woman you listen to your parents you listen to your boss all right a bug out or a random bug out you know most of the time it's the voice of the enemy because of the oppression of the wicked right where they cast iniquity upon me and they, they make you wicked right they cast it upon you. they set you up to the point where you got no other option you know if if you're not part of that number if the Most High hasn't imparted you that discernment, you know, you have no other option but to be wicked, right? You don't know, you don't know the, whether or not you should be eating pork or not. If Satan rolls up with, with pork, you're going to eat it, man, because you're hungry. For they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath, they hate me, man. And, and in wrath, they hate you, because this is wrath. This is the wrath. All these devils, man. They're tasing them, kicking them, punching them. You know Esau, man. He's a real slick devil, man. My heart is sore pained within me, and the terrors of death are falling upon me, right? And that's exactly the state of our people, okay? Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. Right? Because this, you know, we're trying to get the hell up out of here, man. All right? Uh, let me skip down to. 11. Wickedness is in the midst thereof. Deceit and guile depart not from her streets. Yeah, man. People always say the streets the streets uh, are unforgiving, right? Streets don't lie or all this BS. The streets are full of deceit and guile are in the streets, man. That's why the so-called white man he all, he run the street. He's a street king. Alright, this Jake, right? He was on, in the streets per se, like, you know, on that level. You don't know that, but these devils think he is. Here it is. He's coming home from work. Just trying to, from the Cracker Barrel, trying to pick up his life up together. You know, maybe he did have a record, but whatever. Maybe he's trying to get his life together. But when it comes, to, when he's out on the streets, the so-called white man uses that deceit and that guile to, 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 to hate you with his, in his wrath. And, and to uh, 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 put iniquity upon you, cast iniquity upon you, all right? Wickedness is in the midst thereof. Deceit, guile, depart not from your streets, man. Right, so. Yeah, I'm going to bring out one last one, right? Because this devil, right? They always got something to say about these cops. Oh, yeah, he should not run. You know, if I go to the comments, if there are any. He should not run. He should have. Da, 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 da. He's lucky he didn't get a hole in the head. You know? That's how that's what Esau's saying right now. This is um Psalm seventy three and eight. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. Yeah, yeah, they always 
there's devils, man. There's not a righteous bone within it, man. All they do is speak wickedly, especially concerning oppression, because they don't see it. They don't think anything is wrong with that. Right? They speak loftily, proudly. I'm from a higher, you know, like 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 they, like they're the Most High. Right? They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walk up to the earth. Right? And we're coming to a time where you devils, you ain't gonna be able to be doing all this shit, man. Right? We. This is going to be an Edomite, man. It ain't going to be no handcuffs, right? Your hands are going to be chopped off, right? You damn devils. All right, I'm going to wrap it up on... Uh, on this one, right? This is Psalms 109 and 2. From the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue, right? And that's exactly what these cops did, man. You read, you just, I read the charges. Second degree trespass. Where, where did the trespass? You can't be on the streets? Impeding traffic? There is no traffic. I don't see no damn cars moving. Assault on a government official? He didn't, he didn't do that. And maybe resisting. That's all they can get on for. But they all got dismissed. Why? Because the so-called white man is wicked, right? You're wicked... And your own law even even exposes you as such. Well, of course, no one's going to get judged here, right? It says, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are open against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compass me about also with words of hatred and fought against me and fought a cause, right? For my love, they are my adversaries, but I will give myself unto prayer, all right? Hey, because... Our love is who? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shan Bashim, Kakandash, right? So, because we have that love and we follow us law, statutes, and commandments, which we know is that true love, right? We're doing the will of the Heavenly Father. That's why Satan is your adversary. You have Satan on you trying to get at you, man. But that's why it says, but I give myself unto prayer, all right? So, you brothers, man, a lot more of this is going to be escalated in. You know, just like in uh, these other places in the world, pretty soon it's going to be so-called white people getting beat up. And it is, it's already happening, man. But that, I'm going to say, uh, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakakadash, death to America, death to you so-called white people, Shalom.